Bionox is motivating wellness. Welcome to this episode of Motivating Wellness with Dr. J. I'm your host, Jay Wilkins, and as we do with each episode, we work with people and support people who are in their own right motivating wellness themselves and their community. So I am here with Tina Heiss, aka the crazy plant lady, as her <laughs> t-shirt says there. But uh, anyway, she's a mom of five, grandma of three, health coach, lifetime student, researcher, and teacher. So she is quite busy. She is from Salma Salmanca, Salamanca, did I get that right? Yes, Salamanca, Salamanca New York, which uh, she can tell us hopefully a little bit about uh, that or her background and her life. And she is the owner of Back to Our Roots, which is a whole body wellness center. She's passionate about teaching others to be their own healers. And that's an important point. She's currently studying to be a naturopath, and she wants to specialize and is specializing in Lyme as well as mold sickness. So two very important issues that's confronting many people today. So Tina, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. I'm excited to be here. You got it. So uh, I love your mission statement, treat the body, not just the symptoms. That's the mantra of any naturopathic person, clinic, practitioner. And uh, that's, that's the goal. We really want to to facilitate healing by means of supporting the body and its functions. And that's, uh, I know what you're doing there at the back to, to our roots. So we got a, a little a few questions that we'd like to pose to you and tell us uh, about uh, a little bit about your personal life. We'll get into your, your uh, practice life as well, but uh, give us just a little background information on, on who you are and uh, where you came from about this uh, little town in New York. I'd be curious to hear some, some things about that. Sure, sure. Um, I actually didn't come from here originally. I grew up uh, about two hours north of here, and uh, we came down here actually for ministry. My husband was um, working with the youth. Uh, my dad had a church here, so it's a little tiny town in the heart of uh, the Allegheny Mountains, and we, we love it. The people here are great. It's on a Native American reservation, and uh, we've been here for about 15 years, so um, lifestyle is is busy. My husband's an adventurer. There's something new around every corner, everything we do. So it's great. As you said, I'm a, a mom and a grandma. I love, I love being a grandma. They call me sugar. That's super fun. And we have blast. Um, we just love outdoors, camping, nature, getting our hands dirty in the ground and just, you know, living life. So. Very cool. Thank you for that. Yeah. And uh, so our next question then getting into your passion about health, is this something that you've always been passionate about? Give us a little backstory on that. Sure. Um, yes and no. I've always believed that God has given us everything we need in nature to heal our bodies. Um, to be honest, I just didn't know what that was or how to find it or how to use it. You know, how do you get these things? And um, so it really wasn't until I became a mom that um, that, that all changed, that I really became passionate about it um, because of my son and an illness that he was born with it really is everything changes your thinking. And it really pushed me to researching and finding the answers that we needed for him. Yeah. Well, that uh, is typical of ones in the, in our, in our business, they usually have some sort of personal story that uh, caused them to uh, go into natural health because they search for answers. So obviously right. you're a caring mom, you want to do what's best for your, your children so kind of maybe can you explain a little bit about how that journey went with your son? Sure. Um, so he was born in 99. And when he was about a year old, he woke up one day with sores all through his mouth, um, probably like 50 to 60, couldn't move his head, couldn't eat. And so we just began this journey of trying to figure out what was wrong. You know, doctors were like, just give him a Tums, you know, like they didn't know. And so um Fast forward eight years, we found a doctor in New York City. Um, this was eight years of literal research. And he was diagnosed with a disease called base shots. There's no known cure and nothing that they can do. They basically gave him like a life expectancy of 30. And that wasn't a real good answer for a mom. So of course, um, 
we just started researching. We went to doctors all over the country, Cleveland Clinic and all the things, functional medicine, traditional, I mean, you name it, we did it. And with that journey, I learned a lot along the way. Um, about when he was about 17, we just decided that the medications he was on, the side effects were not worth it. He wasn't getting any relief. The diets, nothing helped. He would basically every four to six weeks, he'd wake up just full of sores and be debilitated for one to two weeks out of the month. And, um, he never had a sore free day at this point in his life. So we were kind of like done. It was like, you know what, we need to find our own path. So we just decided at that point that the medicines and all the herbs and supplements, although good, weren't helping and he had never had any progress. So we just kind of um, decided to go our own path and find our own natural way and stopped all of that, kept up with a good whole food diet and things that I had learned along the way. But, um, we had to, we had to just make a decision to take them off all of that and kind of start over. So that really spurred me on to finding the, what would work. And, um, we've had some great successes. It's been quite amazing. Awesome. That's uh, really encouraging, especially for those individuals that, um, I often like to say that we we're, we're like hope dealers, right? We, we get someone that comes to us we've been through a certain path. We've been able to, to see the good, bad, and the ugly and come out of it. And so we can be a source of encouragement as a uh, people come to us. Doesn't mean it's always going to be easy um, as it was with your situation, but if you're persistent, you can really achieve some, some great success. So appreciate you uh, sharing that with us. So at what point then did you decide, well, this is what I want to do helping helping others? Yeah, um, that's a great question. So he, you know, like I said, he had never had a sore free day in his life. And he had these outbreaks that were so debilitating, he couldn't live a normal life. And then somebody mentioned this thing called essential oils. And I kind of laughed and was like, if somebody tells me one more time to try vitamin C, I might have to hurt them. <laughs> like, right. never and so I, um, Long story short, I actually heard a, a message at a conference, a marriage conference about how oils were used in scripture. And I was like, okay, why does this keep coming up? So in 2017, I believe, um, that was the turning point. We tried, we tried some things that were different and he would, he didn't have an outbreak that month. And I was like, maybe it's just a coincidence, you know, <laughs> like you're kind of like, but um, he hasn't had an outbreak since, except one time we actually kind of tested it out and kind of stopped doing what we were doing. And he's been able to go away to Bible college. He's been able to live. Um, he's healthy and there is no end in sight for him. And we're just so thrilled with choosing to find the things that worked for him. And sometimes you have to, you have to be your own healer. You have to look past the box, you know, outside of the box. And so um, that was a turning point. When I saw him get healthy, I said, you know what, if he can get healthy, we have to help other people. So we began teaching classes and um, just slowly, but surely people just started to basically go, what happened to your child and what happened to your family? We all started to get healthy, to be honest, like it's just changed all of us. And so it, it wasn't that I intentionally chose this as my life, but it chose me. And then, um, yeah, I mean, when you find healing, you just can't help but to share it. So Right. Very cool. Yeah, and uh, one thing about essential oils, like uh, many natural therapies, vibrationally, these things are super powerful. And that's why they're able to um, create the results <clears throat> that, that they do. And uh, it's a very interesting study. I, uh, I dabbled in essential oils some, and I know they, they have a very important place and people have tremendous uh, results in, in using those. So outside of essential oils, then, um, I know that we have a, a, a common friend. Um, that's Dr. David Lee, tremendous yeah. healer. Um, he's really a doctor's doctor in that he trains other doctors to implement things into, his pra into their practices as he does. And uh, if you've been to his clinic, he makes every square inch of that clinic count. I mean, he's got um, every, every room is fully utilized. And, uh, and just a super guy, you know, he's just a, just a, a great, a great guy. So maybe you can talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that you do with him, some of those 
different therapies and programs? Sure. Yeah. He, um, he has been a, a life changer for us as well. Um, and we, he comes in here to our, I mean, I feel super honored, but he travels all the way to this little town, two hours from an airport. <laughs> he comes in four times a year and he offers the SpectraVision scan, which is the biofeedback. And he offers brain mapping, which has literally been a game changer for so many people. Um, we do some cardiovascular scans and different things when he comes and we just help people get a starting point to their journey and give them some hope. You know, we, we've done emotional clearing with Dr. Lee when he's here. He's, he is a master at that. He just really shows his compassion to people and loves on them. You can tell that it's in his heart to do so. So um, that's been just great having him come in and people seem to really enjoy, enjoy that. We've been able to watch people turn their lives around because of it. So. Cool. Big believer in that. I also use SpectraVision and uh, the brain mapping devices and, and things and tremendous, uh, the PMF devices. Um, those are very powerful, again, as they help to deal with vibrational uh, imbalances, frequency issues, and you get those frequencies in order and they can do tremendous things as you have experienced. So what would you say is the favorite service of all the things that you, you offer there? What would, what's your favorite? Um, I guess that would be twofold. I, I love getting people on their health and wellness journey, learning how to use essential oils in their life. And, you know, like, um, I always tell people they're not all creative people. I'm, I'm very, very picky and I've been to the farms and we've done the work and research and we, we only use, um, young living, to be honest, everything in the bottle is pure. So I'm very picky about that, but watching the aha moment of that, when people are like, wow, this this is, you know, this really works. It's not a snake oil. That's awesome. I would say my favorite therapy. Um, I'm excited that we're bringing amp coil in and we're just starting with that, but the brain retraining, the neural feedback, um, I have watched moms who are like, I have a mom who has an adopted child who was born with fetal alcohol syndrome and all sorts of ADHD and autism. And they were ready to almost put him in a home because he was so violent. And we've watched his brain just totally be re um, trained and he's getting along with people at home and they're not even looking at that. We've watched kids that couldn't speak, begin to speak after four months on the device. I mean, just to watch the little boy took my hand. He, he couldn't speak full sentences. He's six. And he said, um, Tina's Michael's friend. And I would literally, I mean, if that doesn't make you know why you do what you do, it, that has been just a game changer for us and our family, let alone other people. So I think that would be my favorite, just watching those aha moments when people are like, wow, this really works, <laughs> you know? Right. Just... Very cool. Nice. Um, so then tell us a little bit about the Itobi and how that, how that works. Sure. So iToby is just basically a biofeedback device. It uses frequency, just kind of like kinesiology, like we could muscle test people, which we do, but it's nice sometimes to give them a handheld device where they can see it on paper. And it's not just, um, you know, my telling them that they're muscle testing while they're actually seeing it. So it'll basically tell them, um, measures frequencies in the product and frequencies in their body and what their body needs at that moment. And they'll give us like a list of their emotions, um, body systems, and what essential oils, herbs, supplements will help them at that time. So it just kind of gives us a starting point to help them um, see it. And then we can make decisions from there, which way to go. Yeah, good. It's good to have uh, things like that, that can help you to, to pinpoint causative issues. Because if they just come in with their symptoms, you can take 10 people that have pretty much identical symptoms, right? And a lot of times their story is completely different as to how they got there. And our job is sort of to unravel the story. We're really, we're like detectives, aren't we? <laughs> and <clears throat> trying to put on our sleuthing hat and get in there and find out with this individual, how did they get to this point? And let's retrace it and see if we can get back to that person that they were before all the, the symptoms happen. So those tools, SpectraVision, uh, Toby, all those different things, they're, they're very important. And uh, as you probably know, sometimes it doesn't even make sense what shows up, right? It's like you're scratching your head, they're scratching their head like, what? But you, you go with what shows up and the magic can happen, 
right? It uh, sometimes it's surprising. It, so. Yes. So, and so many sicknesses or diseases, we may say, mimic other ones. And so, when we treat the symptom, we're not getting to that root cause. And so, that's part of the, our name, back to our roots, like getting back to nature, but really getting to the root of the problem and the issue. Sometimes it's emotional. Sometimes it's mental. Sometimes it's, you know, it is um, a air, you know, a, a tick or something that caused this thing to mimic. And so, really getting to the root of the problem really helps us to determine how we can help people the best. So it's pretty amazing. Absolutely cool. Join Dr. J next time with natural practitioner Tina Heiss in episode two.